Hey, hope it's the friendly neighbour home, Moomin. Mean, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend. It's Sunday here in, in good old Britain. We're having a bit of a warmer day than usual. I've had coffee, I've had sleep, and we're good to go with a new WWE 2K related video. And it all comes to things called ring aprons, as you can see from the thumbnail. I'm just going to go straight into the ring apron here. You've got my ignition arena, and as you can see, I've got a custom um, apron here. I don't know what I'm doing. One second. Whee! Try that again. So. <laughs> You can see here I've got a custom ring aprons for the ignition arena and I've got here as well. Okay. Probably could have done it a bit better to be honest in my liking. But that just shows you that is all one logo. Yeah? All one logo. Saving space. So to saving your your, your limit space, your logo space. Instead of having three per side, I've got one of each. Okay. Now if we go to um like the ring itself and have a look at the apron. You can see this is a custom image that's set at 156, uh, 124 by 256. That's the, the size that you want it, okay? And then you can just upload that in game, done, dusted, okay? Quite easy, you just have to upload it as 124 by 256. I'll show you how to do that in a second. However, I'm just gonna back out of this. Now, as I said, it is really simple to do. You will need, you can either Google it, there's, a, there's like a ring apron setting you can get, or you can use my template, which is gonna be in, in Patreon. Now, here you can see I've got blue, black, gray. Yeah, I'm gonna set it to black and I maybe wanna do AEW. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that's at the top. So the beauty of the software that I use, which is called Affinity Designer. Again, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I have a giveaway on it before, but I can then put that on and maybe put the TNT logos either side of it and I'm done, okay? Or I might wanna do a new PDA, PWA logo. Um, banner or something or an upcoming pay-per-view which i'll show you how to do in a second and i probably have that one there one there okay but what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly show you i'm going to set it to the gray one and i'm going to use this i'm going to get my text to her one second bring it to the top and i'm going to be working on something called endgame and i need two separate ones for this they kind of um interlock and have endgame there i'm going to go and bring that across there i think yeah I'm going for more simplistic ones now than they did before. I'm just going to make sure they are touching a little bit. And then I'm going to, you should have a similar feature on yours, but I'm going to group them together. Depending on the software you're using, you'll have some sort of grouping together. And I'm just going to make sure these are in the middle. Now I've got snapping on here. If you're using the same as me, um, if you're using Photoshop or something else, there will be like a, a snapping or you can put a grid on there to make sure you've got that cross hatch in the middle. What I am gonna do then now, is I'm just gonna make sure these are highlighted and I'm gonna to go to the stroke settings and I'm just gonna add a bit of an outline to it and I'm gonna make sure my outline is more, maybe a little bit silverish I wanna go for. That'll do, there we go. I think that's gonna be kind of perfect. Then obviously it is a PWA event so i'm gonna add my pwa logo in on either side of it okay now on this if i press alt and then drag i get myself a duplicate layer straight away and look at that seconds and it's been done now i do want to add a little bit extra on there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just add this um i'm going to pick maybe a diamond tool make sure that's at the top i'm going to leave that there i'm going to add the stroke make sure that's Thing. Just so I'm doing the outline, I am going to make it white. And what I'm going to do is just a stroke quite high. And what I'm going to do is move that out of the way slightly, maybe there. And then again, I'm going to use my other tool, my alt tool, and move one over there, yeah, across a bit. Quick and easy. And that's an apron done. I can upload that in game. Now, if you want to download um, this template, you can do it. It'll be in Patreon. However, in my Patreon, I do have a pack of blank templates without any wording on. You can add yourself. Um, I'll quickly show you that now. Um, you can choose from any one of them to put your own logos on and stuff like that. It's quite simple when you know how. If you're wanting to change the color, what I prefer to do, if we look at the black one here, um, I just got a rectangle over the top, as you can see. Still got a thing underneath with a little bit of opacity on, and all I would do is change the color of that if I wanted to, um, just to make sure. And So I'll just keep the texture underneath. So I wanted it red, um, probably bring the opacity down a little bit more on that one, and you can see you can keep the textures that way. Have a play around with it. Let me know what you think, okay? If this has been found you useful, um, I would really appreciate um, a like and subscribe. Once you have created your logo, you need to save it. It's in, a template is 124 by 256, which is this one here, and you need to upload it via that there in game. You could only use it in your arenas, you can't use it anywhere else. If you do want, for example, the ignition part that I showed you, you would need to save that separately and upload that as 512 by 512, okay? 
If you need any tips or anything like that and you want to ask me any questions, you can join Discord. There will be in the description a link to all of my socials, how you can support me for free, how you can support me with your iPad Avenue or all the logos, textures, that sort of thing. But yeah, thanks for stopping by again on the Friendly Neighbourhood Moomin. Be back with some more original content soon. As I said, it's weekend here. Enjoy the rest of yours. Bye-bye.